I'm Army Vet, and welcome to the next video in our office makeover series where we're gonna make a TV stand out of free materials found on Craigslist. As always, remember to hit the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell, and leave a comment because it does help the channel grow. I hope you enjoy the video. Everything you need outside of what you're getting from Craigslist is gonna be listed in the description below, but here's a quick visual of what you're gonna use. The number of boards you're gonna need is gonna greatly depend on the board width and the size of the cabinet you're using. All right, so first things first. I'm using bed slats for my build, but if you're using pallets, it's gonna be the same process, except you have to do a heck of a lot more sanding beforehand. As you can see here, we're cutting 45 degree angles on one end of our boards. All right, now with all our boards cut, we're gonna place a gauge, so to speak, on the side, clamp it in. It's gonna have a 45 degree cut on it. We're gonna line up our 45 degree cut that we just made on the long boards and measure for the front of the TV stand. With the front boards measured, we make our final cut. There's a reason these things are free, and cleanup is part of the work you're going to have to do to technically pay for the free stuff you get. The bed slats that I'm using have a lot of staples in them, so what I did was got a pair of vice grips, pulled them out. Some of the staples were embedded pretty deep, so what I did was I took a finish nail and tapped it in with a hammer just enough to get underneath the staple and pry it up enough with vice grips to grab it and pull them out.
After running a test fit, I clamped down the first board and tacked it up with one and three quarter inch brads. Continued the same process until I got to the last board which needed to be trimmed. I made my mark and brought it out to the table saw to be cut. Back to the last board up and the front part is done. Now it's time to cut the boards for the sides of the cabinet. The process is going to be exactly the same. We're going to take each board, cut a 45 degree angle on it, measure it, cut it to length, and tack it up with brads. With all the boards cut for the sides of the cabinet, it's time to attach them. I'm going to use the same process. Put one in, clamp it in place, tack it in, and then continue on with the rest of the boards. Now at the top, you'll notice that there is a lip and it has to be cut into the board for it to fit properly. This is an example of how you're going to cut a notch to fit on these boards. For argument's sake, we're gonna say the notch sticks out a quarter of an inch. So we're gonna line our board up, get the approximate measurement of where the lip starts on the board, and we're gonna take it to the table saw. We're gonna take a measuring tape and we're gonna adjust the height of the blade to a quarter inch. Next, we're gonna adjust the backstop to the depth that we need, which is going to be a half inch. Remember the old saying, measure twice, cut once.
There you have it, the notch is cut. Now all you have to do is trim your board to width and attach it to the cabinet. Next, we're gonna grab some wood filler and fill in all the holes from the brads and the damage we made trying to pull the staples out. With the wood full of drying, now it's time to tackle the top of our TV stand. This board started out as a two by 12 by 10 foot. I chopped it down to the length I needed and squared off the edges to make sure that when I glued this together, they would fit nicely. Whole bunch of sanding later, we got a nice clean board. With the boards now cleaned up, time to glue them together.
With the glue applied, we're gonna clamp it together and wait 24 hours. While the top of the TV stand is drying, I'm going to do a quick sand and get rid of all the excess wood filler that is left. All right, now that the TV stand top is dry, we're gonna attach it. This time we're gonna use two inch brads. Give everything a once over, make sure it's nice and smooth. If not, give it a sand and then continue on to the next step. Once your stain is mixed, it's time to apply it. Now I'm gonna use the same process as I do with most of my sanding projects. I'm gonna use a paint edger because it applies a nice, smooth, even coat and it's easy to spread around.
It's been 24 hours and the stain is dry and now it's time to apply the lacquer. I only applied one coat to the front and sides, but on top, since it's gonna take the most abuse, I put four coats on. Each coat requires two hours of dry time before you can apply the next one. So in grand total, it took eight hours to get all the lacquer on and then another 24 hours on top of that for it to dry completely. Considering what it would cost to buy a brand new TV stand, a little time spent digging up materials, and a little elbow grease, this looks great. Stay tuned for our next video where we're going to be adding LEDs to our office makeover. Hope you all have a great day.